Hey wall. We've got a hunter coming in a few days. This is a pre-hunt scouting mission. One of my phobias is an organisation. I think if someone books a hunt with us, the least we can do is honour that booking, honouring that commitment by having a plan set in place. We're now at the end of the season. James, who's coming from Australia in a few days, is our last hunter, and it's not going to be easy. We probably need to have some sort of contingencies plan in place. He's after multiple species. We've got a five day hunt planned, and the weather looks like it's going to cut up rough somewhere in that five days. There's a big storm heading our way. We could end up losing half a day's hunting, so I want to make sure that we can get straight on to something. So James leaves, he assures a happy man. So I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to get up over this hill here, I'm going to look down to the valley, have a bit of a squiz, make a plan. I hope James is going to bring his New Zealand legs with him, because we could be doing a little bit of walking. Finding fellow bucks this time of the year, especially big ones, especially older ones, they've been on the place four or five years, and they do develop a few life skills in that time. So, hopefully next time you see us, we're going to be hunting fellow deer. James has got his New Zealand legs, he's stopped puffing. He's right into it. We didn't find a lot first up. James was up for a walk. Recent rain had made it breezy. Still walking, James never complained. Then the storm rolled in. Brad and Joe from South Dakota arrived eight weeks before James's hunt. They kick-started our rifle hunting season. These guys were a couple of buddies. They came to New Zealand for a good time and two nice stags. Here are the highlights of their hunt. You happy? I want to be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> it's pretty good. Nice crown in here. I think he's happy. I just don't know. It's kind of hard guy to read. Very much so. Very much so. Thank you. Uh, awesome. Do I, do I look like a dwarf standing down here? <laughs> there you go. I can. All right, that'll do. That's cool. James's red stag hunt was a little bit of a fluke. Not because we got one, but more because we were actually hunting Arapara sheep that particular afternoon. We'd had quite a bit of rain the night before and it had made ATV access a little bit sketchy, a little bit dangerous. So we decided to play it safe and go on the other side of the property where we knew it'd be a little bit drier and a little bit safer. We looked across the valley and boom, there's a small group of red deer with a reasonable free range stag amongst them. Now these guys were right out in the open, which was kind of unusual. Well, we've seen a big stag down here. It's 600 -ish yards away. Confirmed our suspicions with the telescope. And James reckon he's only just good enough. James saw the animal, he didn't need any encouragement, we were gonna have a crack.
mod on, mate. You just show yourself a beauty. <laughs> mod on, mate. Thank you. Good guiding. I'm glad you're carrying him out. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> These scars, it tells a story, mate. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a bloody good ripper, isn't it? Yeah. They all tell a story. These old stags that have got wounds like this, it's character that tells a story. It was a bit of a wet morning. We stayed home and we came out this afternoon and these animals were all out, all out in the open. Pretty good shot in the end. Not too bad, too dusty. So what do you reckon, mate? I'm very happy, mate. It's done a very good job. James's hunt had rolled really well. We now had two days left to hunt. James asked us after taking his stag, would it be possible to have a go at another fellow buck? And just to throw us a curveball, did we have any that were chocolate coloured? Now, all of that pre-hunt scouting had been advantageous. We had seen one hanging out in a small patch of bush on the other side of the property. And guess what? Mother Nature was now smiling. We had a great weather forecast, so we had nothing to lose. Buck was there feeding right on the edge of the timber, but we had to wait for him to clear the trees. Our sniper is ready. Thanks, BJ. Chocolate buck. Tracking job for the dog. Go, find it. James's well placed shot wouldn't require a tracking dog, but we didn't tell Matty that. What is it? What is it? Yeah, good girl. Pretty cool buck. James was wanting a chocolate one. We found a chocolate one. What do you reckon, mate? Beautiful. Always wanted a chocolate buck. It's going to look great. Very pretty colour, this. Very pretty colour face. Fellow coming all sorts of different colours. And uh, we actually haven't taken a chocolate one like this for ages, so he's a beauty. Over the years, we've had some great Arapara sheep hunts. For less than a thousand US dollars, they are a wonderful addition to your trophy hunt. They also look great on the wall, not to mention being a whole heap of fun to hunt. Here's a few ram hunting adventures from the archives. Finally, a nice ram presented himself at about 250 yards. Just got a, a beautiful animal here, so thank you again, BJ. Uh, you know, day after day, it just keeps getting better. Thank you. The sheep here are bred here. They have plenty of room on the back of our property to do sheep things. And yes, they will run away if you spook them. We've had nothing but a great experience with ample hunting and BJ. He's been awesome. You
Shots on our Apara Rams will vary in distance. Often a long distance relationship will end very badly for the Ram. So James decided with one day spare, he wasn't going to miss out on some ram hunting action. Being an Australian, he had a natural affiliation to want to get with the sheep. Big old ram, buddy. Good work, mate. Thank you. Look at that curl on that right horn. Unreal. James's ram hunt ended a great five day adventure. If you want to come to New Zealand and have a piece of the action, our website details are right here. Thanks for watching.